Hi. Uh, I just had a quick question. Uh, I am new to the area and I'm looking for a kingdom hall to um, attend with uh, myself and my two children. Okay. Uh, I am concerned, though, having the kids with me, concerned about what I've been hearing in the news. Um, I was wanting to ask, is this kingdom hall, do they enforce the two witness rules here? What do you mean? Um, the two witness rule is a rule that the elders uh, apply in cases of child sex abuse, where if the child doesn't have a second witness, and if there's no confession, then they uh, they don't proceed any further. They leave it in Jehovah's hands, they, they claim. Um, so evidently, there's been a lot of uh, lawsuits and, and, and other stuff coming out in the news lately about uh, how bad the problem is. I was just wondering, do, do, do the elders in this congregation enforce the two-witness rule? Uh, I'd have to, we'd have to talk to you as a couple of elders and uh-huh. uh, see what the situation is exactly and go from there. Uh, could you uh, give me a call uh, later? We're having our meeting right now. Uh, but uh, I can give you my uh, cell phone. And we well, uh, I, yeah, I could. I just, I mean, isn't there kind of a simple yes or no answer to this? Do you, do you guys enforce the rule um, from the Shepherd of the Flock of God book? It's just, uh, you know, it depends on the situation, what we decide as a, as a body. Um, don't you follow the regulations as they're written in the book, though? Yeah. Okay. But I well, don't have it right in front of me. Yeah, on page t- 72, it says in cases of child sex abuse, um, that there, if there's no confession or a second witness to leave it in Jehovah's hands. So it right. sounds like if you guys are following the um, two-witness rule, then you guys are also um, pedophile and enablers. And um, I don't think I'd want to attend this congregation. No, we're not uh, in the Ablers at all. And, um, uh, if that's the, why do you demand two witnesses then to uh, to an act that will never have two witnesses? I'm sorry, what did you just say? Oh, then why would you enforce a rule that demands two witnesses to an act that will never ha- have two witnesses? Because nobody commits child molestation with a second witness there. I'm not enforcing anything right at this point. Well, you're an elder who enforces the rules as brought down um, through the governing body. So it sounds like uh, you're enforcing the two witness rule. Um, no. I'm wondering why uh, why you, why you wouldn't um, enforce maybe a one witness rule. You know, why do you need two witnesses if, if you're never going to have it? Basically, I'm not really quite following what you're. What you're okay. Saying. Yeah, basically what's occurring is it's coming out all over the news that um, Jehovah's Witnesses are not uh, properly protecting the children in their congregations. Uh, the, war- the Australian Royal Commission uh, found 1,006 cases of pedophilia where um, the police were called zero times. And uh, there's a $66 million class action lawsuit going on in Canada right now. Uh, let's see, in California, um, the Watchtower organization is being fined $4,000 a day for failure to turn over their um, documents um, regarding um, child molestation in the congregations. So it's a, it's a big issue. It sounds like... Um, we don't condone that at, at all. I'm sorry? We don't condone that at all. You don't condone what? Child abuse. Okay. But yet you will um, enforce a rule that doesn't properly protect um, the children The two witness rule. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, um, how many children do you know that get molested with a second witness in the room? Right. It doesn't. It doesn't happen. So when a child comes to an, a group of elders with an accusation of abuse, serious. Yeah. Right. But you'd have to leave it in Jehovah's hands. Yeah. Yeah. Much, but right. We still have to investigate as well. So. Um. Well, I, Actually, uh, it doesn't sound like that's what's uh, that's what you're told to do. The, the the Shepherd of the Flock of God book doesn't say investigate. It says leave it alone, leave it in Jehovah's hands. Well, um, you know, I just kind of urge you to look into it. Would you would you you think you'll be into uh, you know googling it to see exactly what's going on in the world today? Sure. Yeah, I would encourage you to. I mean, it's it's very sad, and 
you know, if this rule could be changed so it's, uh, it doesn't require two witnesses for something to be investigated, mm-hmm. um, it, would, it would really help um, protect the children a lot better. It could save lives. I agree. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time, Ben. Thanks for talking to me, sir. No problem. Okay. Thank Bye-bye. You.